Hi, I'm Rochelle, herbalist, founder of Supernatural, and your host of Plant Based. And today we are talking all about iron. I'm going to teach you how to make a high iron tea that also enhances absorption. Iron is so important because it's an essential mineral. Uh, we need it to build blood. We need it for the oxygenation of our blood and therefore the oxygenation of our body. Iron is also an essential building block for neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin, which make us feel good. Iron is essential for healthy hair, skin, nails, cells in general. Basically, it is just super important that we all get enough iron in our diet. As an herbalist, when I first meet a client, I always start by taking a, you know, a snapshot of the levels in our blood of these really important nutrients, like iron for sure. The wonderful thing is that there are lots of foods that are high in iron, lots of herbs that are high in iron, lots of things that we can do holistically to help improve absorption of iron from the diet. But first we want to know, you know, is somebody low in iron? Uh, do they have enough and they just need to maintain? What are we starting with? In my practice and in herbalism in general, you know, this is a primarily plant-based approach. And when we have a plant-based diet, iron is one of those nutrients we want to be very careful to watch, make sure we get enough of, and often to actively supplement. If you are vegan, vegetarian, highly athletic, or pregnant, then it's often especially important to watch your iron levels or again, probably to supplement. In terms of iron deficiency, there's a range. So we can be low or our stores of iron could be a little low or we could be very deficient and have, you know, iron deficient anemia. And it's also possible to have high iron and we don't want to be on the extreme side of either ends of that spectrum. So before supplementing, it's always important to check your levels, you know, have a test done, talk to your healthcare practitioner and know where you are and where you need to go from where you are. Iron comes in two forms. There's heme iron and non-heme iron. And heme iron is found in animal-based foods and non-heme iron is found in plant-based foods. And the non-heme iron is a little bit more difficult to absorb. So while we want to be eating foods that are high in iron naturally, we might also need to supplement because of that absorption issue. My favorite high iron food group by far is greens. I love greens and on a plant-based diet, we should be having lots of them and they're an awesome source of iron. Meat and seafood, if you're going for that heme iron, there's a lot of iron in molasses and lots of herbs are also an awesome source of iron. Some of the absolute best herbs for iron are nettle. I love nettle, it's my buddy, as you know, alfalfa, dandelion greens, raspberry leaf, yellow dock, fennel, mints, chamomile, and thyme. Actually, thyme contains the most iron of any herb. One of the best ways to enhance absorption of iron is with vitamin C. And we find vitamin C naturally in lots of fruits and vegetables. One of the reasons why we love nettle so much is that it's high in iron and vitamin C, and vitamin C enhances the absorption of the iron. In addition to vitamin C, gut health in general is super important for absorption in general. So all of the things that we've already talked about related to gut health are going to make a difference in how well we absorb iron. Absorption is a really important piece of the puzzle to consider when we're looking to supplement and improve our nutrient levels. If we're not absorbing the supplements that we're taking or the foods that we're eating, we're not going to see a change in our levels. A really cool thing about herbs in general is that they're whole plants, right? So they are naturally full spectrum. 
So they contain the iron that we need and also all of these surrounding nutrients that help us to absorb it well. Today we're gonna make this tea that puts all of that information together and allows you to have something to sip to improve your iron levels any time of day. For this high iron tea, it's very straightforward. We are using herbs that are high in iron and all of the full spectrum support for absorption. So first we have some alfalfa. And as you know, the quantities are approximate, but we'll do about a quarter of a cup of each of these. So we have alfalfa. We're going to do some red clover. This is a beautiful plant. It's very nutritive, so high in lots of vitamins and minerals. Love the red clover. We'll do some, so we have some dandelion root. If you have the leaf, the leaf is highest in iron, uh, and oftentimes it's something you can find fresh in grocery stores if you can't find it dry. So that's a fave. Also great for digestion. We're doing my favorite nettle leaf. So this guy. Feel free to double your quantity of the nettle if you want to. Remember, it's also high in vitamin C and chlorophyll. Look at that gorgeous green color. Love it, love it, love it. We have some raspberry leaf. So again, you know, I'm using a bunch, but if you have just one or two of these plants, that's great, that's enough. Even just one is enough. And then we can't forget thyme, which is the highest in iron. You don't need to break it, but I'm making it difficult on myself and breaking it. Let's do some fresh thyme in there. That'll be beautiful. We'll also do a little bit of parsley, lots of options. And the great thing about tea is that we can be, um, we can be a little sustainable here and use the stems as well as the leaves. Well, this is going to taste so great. Just nice and herby. Okay, that's that. And then you want to fill this pitcher or a glass mason jar, whatever you're using. Just fill it all the way up with tea hot water. So beautiful. I love making herbal teas, especially in large quantities, because you can just see all of this goodness steep out over time. And speaking of time, it's very important that this steep for multiple hours if possible. So I love to make this at night and let it steep overnight or make it in the morning with the intention of drinking it later in the day because you want to give all of these minerals, especially time to extract and they take a while to extract. So again, overnight infusion or make it in the morning and drink it later in the day. So now that we've allowed this to steep long enough to turn this really dark color, we get to enjoy. Amazing, amazing color because it's full of all of those nutrients. Now I'm adding 10 milliliters of Floridix, the liquid iron supplement. Always make sure to talk to your doctor before starting a new supplement. We just get to add this directly to the tea so we get our iron supplementation and everything we need for enhanced absorption. So we're clearly making a super infusion here. You could totally just have this as your daily iron supplement. The tea is helping to enhance the absorption, especially helping to enhance the absorption is vitamin C, which we're getting from a little squeeze of lemon. And just to add one more layer of extra iron, we'll do a little sprig of time, maybe two. And if you like your tea sweetened, then I would recommend using a little bit of molasses, which you guessed it, is high in iron. Mm. This looks it's gorgeous, actually. Wow, wow. So aromatic, tiny bit sweet, 
It, uh, it smells like a garden. Just delicious. And the color, look at the color. Wow. Mm. Well, this is definitely a tea you could drink all day long, every day. I hope this helped. If you are low iron or iron curious or struggling to get your levels up with food or supplementation, this is a really powerful combination. Remember that you can keep it simple with just one or two of the ingredients. You don't have to use all of the herbs. Let it steep for a long time and enjoy. Thanks so much for watching Plant Based. For more episodes, subscribe to Well and Good's YouTube channel. And for more herbalism, follow Rochelle Robinette on Instagram.